Hey, I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I'm gonna try to get Bosk to come out here and uh, enjoy some super mealworms, which is his uh, Sunday treat. Uh, both he and uh, Tiamat are waiting, but uh, getting them to come to me and, and uh, me not going to them, I'm gonna see if I can make that happen. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, just so that you see, pretty Tiamat waiting. And there's Big Boss, just a waiting. So let's see what happens. Got a little mini tripod, set it down here on the floor. Come on, boss. Come on, buddy. See if I can coax him down. Come on, big guy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boss. This way. Come on, this is not the first time you've done this. Come on, buddy. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Look at that. Come on, big boy. Bosk. Come on, bud. Come on. Hey, up and over. That's my boy. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Come on. Turn this camera down a little bit so we can get him eaten. That is awesome. Come on, buddy. All right. There we go. Good job, buddy. Stay there. Keep you in focus. Two, three. All right. Four. I typically give Bosk about 30 super worms. So let's back that up a little bit in case he decides to get closer to me. There we go. So for anybody new to the channel, um, I've had Bosk since March of 2014. So I've had him for uh, over four years now. He uh, was bred by Ty Park down in Punta Gorda, Florida. And uh, he hatched in about August or September of uh, 2013. So he was about six or seven months old when I got him. Black chested or Honduran spiny tail iguana. Uh, genus is Tenosaura and species is Melanosterna. In the wild, these guys, as the name suggests, come from Honduras, and there's two populations, is what the literature talks about. There's an island population, and there's an excellent video called Survival on the Brink that is about the island population, and then there's a valley, an inland valley population. Um, not real sure where the uh, iguanas in the hobby originated from. I don't know if they came from the island population or the uh, Inland Valley population. Um, supposedly one of the populations, the, the animals get a little bit larger than the other one. I, I can't remember which, is, you know, is it the island population that gets bigger or is it the inland population? Um, but critically endangered in the wild. Uh, luckily though, there's hobbyists that are uh, successful breeding them. But, uh, very personable iguanas in my opinion. Um, I've talked about it before that uh, very cyclora-esque, very much like a rock iguana. Um, look at the size of his head and his jowls, but uh, very manageable size. Bosk, the literature suggests, should get no bigger than about three feet. He's probably two and a half right now. So he'll keep growing, but his growth as an adult is going to slow down. But uh, spiny tail iguanas tend to be omnivorous. Uh, they're not strict herbivores like uh, the green iguanas and the true rock iguanas, the cyclora, are uh, thought to be. But even those animals will take an insect or a mouse or something every now and then, a bit of protein. Just the typical wisdom is that they are uh, mainly like 95% herbivorous. 
I give these guys super worms uh, or some sort of insect, usually dubia, uh, every Sunday. And then one of their and one of their salads throughout the week, I add some protein, uh, usually in the form of grub pie um, or a high quality dog food kibble. Uh, you know, grain free, meats the first ingredient type of thing. Nothing, no particular brand. Uh, we have a puppy, and we give him good quality stuff. So right now they're getting puppy food, but just a little bit, not a whole lot. And that's so twice a week they get added protein in their diet. The rest of the time, their diet consists of the typical iguana salads. And of course, I told you guys I give them 30. I don't know how many superworms I had in this little cup I'm working out of, but uh, I've lost track of uh, how many I've given him. <laughs> so I am going to pause it here, and next we will see Tiamat. All right, so now um, got Boss back in his enclosure. He got done eating. He uh, defecated on the floor, and then he decided he was going to get back in his log. So uh, petted him a little bit. He's uh, he's doing great. He's uh, I wouldn't call him handable, but he doesn't mind when he's on his own. If I scratch his neck, you know, tickle under his chin with his dewlap, I'm always extremely cautious. Um, never bitten me, and I don't want to be bit. But uh, um, he is uh, very calm around me, but he doesn't like to be picked up. So anyways, now let's see if we can get Tiamat to come out. I'm going to just try to coax her down and out. Come on, pretty girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tiamat. Come on, pretty girl. I hope you guys saw that okay. Come here, pretty girl. Oh, see, I picked the camera up and that scared her off a little bit. Yeah, I definitely want to give her her super worms. I just don't know if she's going to cooperate with us and come out. Come on. Are you going to come out with me? Oops. Let's break the camera, Chuck. Come on, pretty girl. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up feeding her. That was kind of a fail. I was hoping that she would come out. But I'm going to wrap up feeding her. And um, I'm going to show you guys a little feeding montage. I uh, The video I meant to do last weekend. I apologize. I've been a little sporadic with my uploads. Just extremely busy trying to get some stuff together. Um, the little horn worm, horn worm feeding montage with some iguanas and some night anoles, big horn worms. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, this is a brief video, just hanging out with the iguanas. I got some other stuff in the works. Uh, I want to try to make this a very informative channel, so I'm going to work on some things like that. Some little tutorials, how I do things, uh, whatever advice you know somebody's willing to take from me. Um, so there's some stuff coming up. I got some big plans for my backyard. Um, so, got to wait for the summer to get here for some of that to come to fruition. So, we're just spring, had some cold fronts come through. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. That's uh, my weak shoulder after my, uh, my um, herniated disc that I had early last year. But anyways, enjoy this hornworm feeding montage. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, comment. If you're new to the channel and if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm trying to make these videos better and you know the only way I really can do that is with some feedback I do you know I watch a lot of YouTube videos a lot of great great um, uh, content makers out there and so I'm gonna try to step up my game a little bit but anyways I'll get off that uh, hope you enjoyed that hope you enjoyed a little interaction with Bosk um, you know he's kind of the uh, the showpiece of, of the lizard room even though uh, he's not a night anole, but iguanas are cute, are so cool and personable, uh, much more so than the night anoles are. So, anyways, until next time, you guys take care and thanks. Yeah.